Summer. When it's the week before the end of school, all anyone can think of is summer. It's the time every teen romanticises. Some create Pinterest boards, most create Spotify playlists, just to depict and imagine how it will go. But summer leaves everyone feeling like all they can do is joke with their friends about how much time they may have wasted and how they wish they had just done more. At the start of summer, you are hopeful that it will go as expected and imagined, but by the end you may feel unproductive and as if you've wasted all your time. So, that leaves me with two questions. Why do you always feel wasted after summer's over? And two, how can you prepare for next summer and seize it to your best ability? <laughs> so you're probably wondering, why did you waste summer? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> so why do most of us feel like our summer has literally been wasted? And I'm gonna be so for real, it's probably because you're being lazy. It's literally probably because you're being lazy. Basically, according to Google, and um, Google's always right, so don't worry about it, 75% of college students are usually end the academic year with a major episode of burnout, which obviously means you're gonna wanna relax during your summer break. But then most people may feel like they ended up wasting their summer because they didn't go out and experience all the things they could've if they weren't burnt out. Or they may not just have the budget to experience everything that everyone else has, which leads to major FOMO. Now, of course, not everyone may be burnt out, but they may want to relax, which is fair because it's your summer holiday. But relaxing and relaxing are two very different things, which is where it kind of goes wrong. Some may think that they're relaxing. In reality, they're literally just wasting their summer. This is by binge watching series or just scrolling endlessly for hours and distracting yourself instead of actually resting. This means like putting off any work that needs to be done. Like, I don't know, for me it was summer reading or just not doing anything. I'm not gonna say you can't scroll on social media because everyone does it, but it's better to do it in doses than like eight hours straight and daily. Of course, that's not the only reason why you wasted your summer. That'd be a bit too easy. You could feel like you actually wasted your summer because you didn't have a set routine like you do when you go to school or college or work where you have to be somewhere at a certain time doing a certain thing. And because you don't have the set routine, you feel like you're kind of lost. You don't really have much to do, making you feel lazy and unproductive. Another thing which I feel kind of goes into the whole routine thing is that I wanted to keep my environment clean. My room was dirty. I felt sluggish and lazy and like almost angry actually because like my, my environment was dirty so then I was like Ugh. and then because you didn't do anything you didn't even like bother to clean your room or anything it just makes you feel really like you've wasted the day which then ultimately makes you feel like you've wasted summer when it happens too many times the one main last reason why you can feel like you wasted your summer is because of the massive massive pressure that society emits and i'm not even joking about this like i'm not even like oh society no literally there is so much pressure when it comes to summer from society it's kind of like i'm going surface level on it because you could go so much deeper into other things but i'm gonna focus on summer first of all i feel like summer is so overhyped can we talk about that for a second i love summer i fully love summer like i'm a summer baby i love summer love the sun love it but it's so overhyped everyone like months before summer is like this summer's gonna be so great i can't wait to go to the beach and then you get to the beach it's like overcrowded there's no place to sit it's boiling hot the sand is hot and then the sea's too cold and it's like no the food is so overpriced and i guess you could bring your own food but like no that's not the hype and then like Let's talk about how society. <laughs> summer has such like almost a strict agenda. Like it almost has rules to it. Like you have to have a bikini photo. You have to have cute photos that you can post on Instagram once summer is over. You have to have a summer body. And like, especially with the summer body one, people who don't have a summer body may feel like ashamed or literally like uncomfortable going outside to the beach because they don't have the confidence to like go out in a bikini. And society has such a big pressure on literally everyone, but especially like I feel like younger kids, either teenagers slash young adults, 
like that they have to have loads of experiences go to parties go to the beach go to the pool go to the water park you know all the rest of it and it kind of stresses at someone out it can stress someone out because they can feel like oh my god i didn't have enough experiences oh my god i didn't like do enough you know on one side summer's for relaxing on the other side society's like do everything have loads of experiences go to parties da -da -da -da. they're like you just don't want to do anything you literally don't want to do anything and like these excuses aren't excuses, do you know what I mean? Like all these bad things I've said about summer aren't excuses that you couldn't have done something because you can always do something. There will always be cons to pros, do you know what I mean? And people can still seize the summer, but I can understand how you feel because I'm guilty. I'm first hand to guilty of feeling like this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, I'm just not gonna do anything. So yeah. Okay, so when it comes to seizing summer, I did seize a little bit of it. And you're probably wondering, one, how did you do it? And two, how can I do it? And so I'm gonna go through my opinion and Google's opinion, because like I said earlier, Google is always right. <laughs> so for me, when I knew that I was like seizing summer, taking advantage, whatever you wanna call it, like living life, it was when I felt like the main character, I felt like the hot girl summer moment. And I literally, I'll be quite honest, I forgot that my phone existed, I forgot social media existed, and I was just having a good time, and I was like, in the present moment. I don't know how to explain it, because it was like, there's no better time than right now, kind of thing. And like, obviously, I loved summer when it felt like I wasn't being wasted. That was just like, obvious, when I was like, oh my god, like I'm not wasting summer, I'm not sitting doing nothing. But according to Google, apparently there are only eight, that's nine. <laughs> Apparently there are only eight ways that you can properly, I don't know, do summer and like not waste it at all. So I'm gonna list the eight. So number one is having a routine. So whether that's, you know, waking up before a certain time of the day, doing your summer work and then doing chores. For me, it was doing the laundry. It was, you know, making my bed, all that sort of stuff. And for me, it was reading my summer work, which was Life of Pi and waking up before 10 30. number two is experience which i think is a big big thing um where you are not just sitting around and you're actually going out and doing something whether that's you know a walk a water park beach you know just having fun not putting your pressure on yourself to actually do it but just wanting to do it i think one last thing that is really important is if you are struggling and you don't have like a lot of money to spend throughout the summer a big thing is budgeting and I know I talked about this when I was talking about how you may feel like you wasted summer and like you don't have the money to have experiences that everyone else does so you feel like you're wasting it. I think you should be able to find things that are free like going on a walk, painting, like doing arts and crafts with your friends in your bedroom or something, making bracelets, things like that where it doesn't cost anything and you can still have a good summer without having to spend money. And like hanging out with your friends doesn't cost anything. Hanging out with your friends or your family does not cost anything. So I think that's a very important thing to remember is that if you are like, oh, I wasted summer because I didn't have the money, da -da -da, I didn't have the budget, whatever. Find ways to be able to hang out with yourself and your friends that don't cost anything. And then you don't feel left out, you don't feel FOMO and you didn't waste your summer. Number three is relax. And by relax, I mean relax, babe. Don't be distracted, actually genuinely take the time to just lay in bed, stare at the wall, and relax. <laughs> Four would be being responsible, I guess. I feel like as long as you're not doing anything that's illegal, or stupid, or might get you kicked out of the house, you're fine. But you should always ask for permission because don't get in trouble, it sucks. Number five is being productive, you know, whether that's getting your exercise daily, like I said, doing your work, be productive. <laughs> Number six would be contact friends. This is a big one, which I'll get into later. But seven is journal so that you actually keep track of like memories, you can make a scrapbook, you can just, you know, write down every night like three sentences this is what I did today, this is why it was memorable. And number eight would be do your summer work. That's what Google says. Summer work for me was, like I said, reading, but that's all according to Google. So I guess now you know how to live your summer. You don't need me anymore, bye. Now, from what I've read there, I wanna make it very clear. Don't make your summer like some strict routine where like it's boring, you're like, oh, 
I was out until, I don't know, two with my mates. Now I have to wake up before 8 a.m. Babe, no, get your rest. Some of my main advice for summer would be if an opportunity arises, actually take it, like fully take it. So whether that's if like a friend of a friend, you know, a mutual friend says, hey, do you want to go out to the water park with some new, like with some friends that you don't know? I would say, yeah, because I want to meet new people and it will be fun. Why not? Make the most of any opportunity you get. Even if it's a sunny day and you have no plans, make the most of it, go out. Look at that tan. As you can see, I didn't get one. I think another massive, massive thing that everyone kind of does, and I don't blame them because I do it as well, but it's kind of where some issues may arise, is when you're waiting for other people, which is like another issue when I was mentioning contact friends, this is what I mean. Because if you're constantly waiting around for people, then you're not gonna obviously have the friends all, all the time. They might have other plans. So if you're waiting around for other people to contact you, it can just go wrong. I think you should be able to hang out with yourself, if that makes sense. If your friends aren't available, don't just ditch the whole day and be like, oh, guess I can't hang out with anything. Guess I can't do anything. Um, I think you should be able to do something with yourself, like going for a walk, exploring around your area, going shopping, baking, painting, literally anything that you can just do to hang out with yourself so you won't waste the day, I think is such a big thing. My biggest advice is just have fun because there's literally no rules when it comes to summer in the sense that like you don't have school, you don't have to do something all the time, you know, you are able to relax. You should have fun because like, at the end of the day, you only have, I don't know how many summers in your life. You only have a certain amount of summers. <laughs> I know earlier when I was talking about the wasted stuff that I mentioned, oh, it's, the summer's so bad because it's boiling hot and sleepless nights and whatever else I said. I think you should also remember the amazing things that come with summer. Like the sun, you're able to tan. And when you're so boiling hot and you jump into the water, either in like a pool or a water park or the beach, the refreshing feeling is literally mwah, mwah. So yeah, that's my main advice when it comes to seizing summer. Follow those eight rules Google gave you, 100% that will work, 100%, I don't even doubt. I'd say those eight rules that Google told you, take all the grain of salt, do you know what I mean? And like I said, if an opportunity arises, make the most of it, have fun, and if your friends aren't available, make sure you know how to spend time with yourself. I think that's such a big thing. And I think that's everything. That's how you see summer. Now you know how to make your next summer great. And if you ever waste it again, come back to this video, you'll know why you're wasting it and you'll know how to seize it.